Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to RainyDayGuitar.com. Today I am going to teach you Deck the Halls. Fun little Christmas carol. Um, I'm just going to strum it because it has so many quick chord changes. There's just, there's, you can try picking. You can do all kinds. I'm going to show you a couple picks, but then I'm going to do it strumming. So you could go bass, three, twins, three, bass, three, twins, three, or I went bass and one. And twins is, by the way, is one and one and two. Bass is four, three, twins, three. That's one way to do it. This is kind of a simplified version. I'll throw in a couple bar chords in a minute for those of you that can handle that, okay? All right, so that's one pick, or you could go... I did there was I plucked four and one, four and one, two, three, one, four and one, two, three, one, then I go to the A, five and one, two, three, one, back to the D, five, four and one, two, three, one. Okay, so that's those are your two options for picking. Right now I'm just gonna strum it and I'm just kind of going down, down, up, down, down, switch to an A. So this is the easy version. I'm going to show you a harder way in a minute. Forgive my singing. I'm not a singer. I'm embarrassing myself for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the, uh, the harder version is going to be a B minor. So it's going to look like this. I'll play it really slow. So go to the A, then go to the B minor. Give me one down strum. Sorry, don't hit, don't hit six unless you want to borrow six. And then an, uh, an A, and then back to a D. So I went down, down, up on the hop. So bells Okay. For those of you who don't know what a B minor is, you can go to rainydayguitar.com where not only can you print off this music, this has got the words and the chords above it, but you can also print off a picture of the B minor. It's in the, hmm, I think it's in the beginning tab, the very, very bottom, uh, it says intermediate chords and the B minor's on there, okay? Okay, so let's, then we're gonna go to the fa la la, we're just gonna go to a G. Fa la 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 la, fa la la la. So what, let me show you my strumming pattern there. Really simple, I went down, up, down, worry about trying to switch to the A before even though your voice is switching it's better if your guitar doesn't switch yet now down back to a D down, down, up. okay second verse here we go um, again you can choose between hanging on going between the D the A and the D or Instead of that D, you can throw the B minor A and then resolve to the D. So I'll do the easy one again, and then I'll go back and do the hard one again on the second line. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tis the season. This is the easy version. Sound of music F. I meant G. Okay, now we're gonna go to an A seventh, which is an A, and our middle fingers lifted up. And I just went down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. And then a D, same exact strum. 
go to a B minor, you have to do a B minor here. There's no way around it if you're going to play this in the key of D. In a minute, I'm going to show it to you in the key of G with no bar chords, but I kind of like it in the key of D. Fa, la, la. So you're going to go down, up, down, then a G. Fa, la, la, then an A. La, then an E. La, and then an A seventh. La. So you're going to go, let's do that line again. Da, good you are unless you have this memorized you're not going to be hearing those chords unless you see them this is where it really has to be looking at it because those chords change so fast and it gets kind of weird that I mean I can hear stuff pretty well or I wouldn't be doing this but um, I have a hard time with that so it really does help to have it printed in front of you if you are playing this I would never go anywhere without music in front of me just in case my mind wanders off and I get lost or I get distracted I can look at the paper and get right back in and I don't have to rely on my being able to hear it at the spur of the moment which I usually can but once in a while it fails me and I don't like that so I prefer to have double you know protection right here with the music in front of me okay last line back to a D it's better to have somebody else singing if you're playing unless you're really good which most people are back to an A and then you can go to a D or B minor then an A I don't know if this is the second or third, but it's what I found. Um, fast, fast away the old year passes. Ready? Here we go. Fast away the old. No. Fast away the old. Okay, should I do the hard? I'm going to try the hard. I'm going to butcher it, but I'm going to do it. I'm not great with bar chords. I love them. Well, I don't, I don't love them. I love to attempt them, and I love it when they go off well, but <laughs> it doesn't always go off well for me. Okay. Fast away the old year. up to speed I would not do the bar chords if I'm gonna sing it the way everybody's gonna sing it there's not gonna be time for me to hit that B minor this is about how fast I would do if I were singing in a group Let me show you how that would sound. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it's still not pretty. Possible? Eh, I might. If I practice, maybe I would. Okay, let me play in the key of G, okay, which is, we have no bar chords here, so that's kind of fun. So I'm in a G. Or you can, the fast one is, you just go back to the G. Or if you want to get harder, E minor, D, G, G. Okay, then a C. messing me up is because I have your I have both options here and my eyes are like okay which one am I going to so I need to ignore option one and go to the hard one let's see if I can do it do that one fast. That would be really fun. 
to throw in that E minor, but man, you gotta watch. You gotta absolutely watch and look. Okay, so there you have Deck the Halls in two different keys, the key of D with a difficult bar, well, not too difficult. It's one of the easier bar chords, but it's got a bar chord in it for those of you who find that difficult. And then in the key of G with no bar chords. You can find this on rainydayguitar.com. You can print it off if you wanna scratch off the first option and just keep the second option or scratch up the se second option and just keep the first. Both of those will work and it'll make it a lot easier for your eyes. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. For more songs, go to rainydayguitar.com and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.